All right, it's time to meet this week's second chance pet. Some say you uh, you are what your name is. Definitely <laughs> the case for Sir Fluff. Aww. You know exactly what you're going to get. Sir Fluff, this happy-go-lucky Malamute mix, is an older fella looking for a new forever home to live out his golden years. Oh, my gosh. Joining us live right now to introduce us to Sir Fluff is our friend Sam Ellingson with the Humane Society for Southwest Washington. Good morning to you both. Hey, good morning. Thank you for having us. Uh, yeah, Sir morning. Fluff is, uh, you know, as we, as I said in the uh, description I sent, he's pretty happy-go-lucky, and he's absolutely coming through for me this morning. Because sometimes, <laughs> you know, we never really know what kind of mood they're going to be, and they, we may say they're a relaxed dog, and they just want to run around the room, right? Right. But this guy, we came in here, uh, he found his little blanket, laid right down, and has been more than happy to just sit here occasionally nibble on a toy, oh. get some little scratches on his ears. He's a super sweet guy. Oh, that's awesome. My, cutie. The first family dog of the Tyke family was mm -hmm. a Malamute mix. Uh, her name was Kodiak and just the sweetest dog. Lots of fluff just, there too. So much fluff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so Sir Fluff uh, arrived as a stray. Uh, so tell us, yeah. do, we, do we know anything about his background or how has he been so far? Yeah, so we don't, we really don't know anything about him from before he arrived here with us. He did come in with another uh, Malamute buddy, I guess. Uh, we don't know if they were living together or if they just met, met on the streets of Vancouver and decided to go on an adventure. We have really no idea. No. Um, but since he came here, he has really just consistently proven to be a very relaxed, very fun dog. You know, I had him out for a walk this morning. Um, out in the rain and he was one of the easiest walking partners that I've had in a long time. He's just sort of trotting along by my side, not pulling on his leash, just very happy, very content to be out for a little stroll with his person. That's awesome. Well, we did talk about uh, Sir Fluff's age, you know, uh, and during that description mm -hmm. as well. A senior dog. Well, what does that mean exactly? What do people need to be aware of if they are thinking about adopting a, a senior dog? Yeah, you know, I think senior dog adoption is great because especially with when you have a dog who's older, they're already going to have an established personality. And it's going to be a little easier for us to understand sort of what this dog needs, what they might know if they've lived in a home before. They may know some basic commands. Sir Fluff showed me earlier that we think he knows sit. He did a pretty nice sit for me. He wasn't totally cool about laying down at first because he sort of wanted to snuggle a little bit. But you may know his basic command. So that's the kind of thing you're going to get with a senior pet especially if they've lived in a home, they're likely going to already have some family dog manners. So it sort of makes that transition to a new home a little bit easier when they have that established personality. Oh, mm. definitely. But we know that, you know, senior dogs can often be the dogs that get overlooked sometimes for adoptions. No I mean, cute mm -hmm. puppies get all the attention. We understand. But you guys are rolling <laughs> out a, a really cool new promotion, Seniors for Seniors. So tell us about that. Yeah, so Seniors for Seniors started uh, yesterday, or it started on Tuesday, I guess, the first day in 2024. And Seniors for Seniors provides no fee adoptions for any senior in our community who adopts a senior pet. So any individuals age 65 and up, and any dogs or cats age seven and up, and Sir Fluff is one of our resident seniors, so that's why we wanted to have him on here today. Um, it's a no fee adoption. They come in, meet their perfect match, and they head home. It's just a way for us to make adoption a little bit easier for seniors in our community and also help dogs, great dogs like Sir Fluff, find that perfect home a little more easily. Okay. Like you said, they do tend to stay a little bit longer. Yeah. I think you found the spot. Sir Fluff is, is smiling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah right. Smiling from ear to ear. Look oh, at that. Man, oh, man. What a, what a sweet one. Well, Sam, always appreciate you taking the time. I love the initiative Seniors for Seniors. It's a great idea. Yeah. Thanks for introducing us to Sir Fluff. Thank you so much for having us. We appreciate it. And if you're interested in adopting Sir Fluff, if you have uh, a senior in your life who might want to check out some other senior pets, you can learn more about their new promotion and see all of the pets up for adoption at hssw.org.